welcome back to my channel. It's Samer Keaton here and I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today we are doing a community lot and we are building in the central park of San Maishuno and I decided to just make it into a huge park with this like round eating area with all the food stalls in the middle and then that's surrounded by water and then you have like four other little different areas in there as well i'm sure you'll see it in the end but yeah <laughs> how are you guys doing today i just wanted to say hi and thank you so much for all your support lately and i'm just still astounded by how many new subscribers i'm still getting every day so thank you so much and welcome all of you to my channel i really appreciate you all subscribing and just showing your support and yeah i hope you're all having a really great weekend <laughs> i have lots of work currently so i've just been really really tired and i pre-recorded all of these videos but i am doing the voiceovers on a like daily basis on the day that i post these so i'm just pretty tired so sorry i didn't post anything yesterday i mean it was just the one day gap in posting but i was just super exhausted yesterday so i didn't feel like doing a voice voiceover when i was just like feeling super like i don't know tired so i'm doing one today and i don't know i do really like this build it was fun to do a park we've only done one in the past and it was a pretty small one so this was a 64 by 64 lot so that is really huge although most of it is covered in water <laughs> so i guess that takes out most of it like the building space but yeah i'm using or i used when building this i watched the great symphonies video on building round like lots, structures, houses, whatever you want to build that is round. I watched her video, you should totally go check it out. Her channel is The Great Symphony. And yeah, <laughs> that's how I learned how to make this like circular middle area. I was just like watching her, like, I was looking at her little like example. I don't know how to say it. I can't speak English, it's too late. <laughs> but yeah, I was looking at that one, building the, this first part of this so I can make this completely kind of like circular and I think it turned out really nice. And my idea was to make just to make like this circular thing in the middle with four bridges coming to it from each side and then you would have like a eating area just here in the middle. It's just like a nice park area with eight food stalls <laughs> which is a lot i don't think they can even all be open at the same time i figured that out after i build this but you can have most of them open and then there's lots of seating areas seating areas and eating areas and there's a little like greenery area there in the middle that i just made and then there's like four other parts of this build as well that like are on the sides of the lot Maybe I should have made the bridges like go towards those places, but I'm not sure sure how well that would have worked because those would have been like bridges in an angle and I think there would have been like problems with that. So I'm okay with this one. <laughs> I do really like how this turned out and I used like the lamps or like the kind of like the hanging lamps from the from like poles. <laughs> I can't. I'm really bad at describing stuff right now, but the new ones from San Maishuno, you'll see them in a minute and they look really good and this place looks so pretty at night. But I figured out when I was building this that there is nine regular food stands. Like I didn't want to use the ones from Uptown because they didn't really fit in here. So there's nine and I could fit in eight. So I think I took out the Mexican one, I believe. <laughs> That's the one I decided to leave out. And then I just paired the other eight with stuff that I thought was kind of similar. Or like the booth looks similar or something. And then obviously I had to put trash cans all around. And then here's the little middle area that adds a little bit of greenery in this place. Because I wanted to make the whole place white and just look i don't know pretty like modern and clean but in the same time it does have like an asian vibe to it and i do think it looks super cool and i'm using this new awesome uh what is this <laughs> fence from city living that is super pretty i love this watch in it it's like a dark brown one with some like patterns on it and it's so pretty so i used it all around and in the middle as well i think i even put that on the bridges so it's like everywhere <laughs> but i just first i used it here and i thought it looked really nice so i just decided to put that everywhere so yeah, I'm um, just putting some greenery in here so you can kind of <laughs> get a glimpse of the greeneries as well instead of just like a city, city park. I don't know, I was thinking of making other kind of parks as well, but this was like my first idea and I did really want to like do it and see what it looks like. So maybe I'll build some more parks in the future. If you want to see them, tell me in the comments and tell me what kind of parks I could do or any other community lots. So I'll probably do a karaoke bar, bar at some point because I think that would be fun. But for now, we're just doing... 
uh, park, and yeah, these are the lights that I was talking about, that are like hanging from this pole thing. This was such a pain in the butt <laughs> to do this, they weren't turning very nicely or very easily, and um, so I put these, I did the one bridge on film, I mean on like footage, and then I stopped recording and I did the other bridges, so you don't have to look at me do this <laughs> three other times, because it did take a while, because I wanted them to go in kind of like a circular, not a circular, or like a zigzag pattern all over the bridge, and then <laughs> they weren't like aligning with each other very well, so I was just having some issues, but in the end it looks good. And yeah, then in the middle here, we like I said, we have the food food stalls. Then we got lots of seating areas, and then we got the, like uh, picnic tables as well. I think I used the new ones from City Living, and then you've got I put the new round like um, flower like areas. What are they like? I don't know flower. Um, I don't even know. I can't. I can't speak English. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> It is pretty, pretty late right now and I won't post this today, so I'm doing this voiceover, but it's just work and I don't have time to record before work because my I've been having lots of morning shifts lately, so I'm really sorry about that, but I hope you guys don't mind me being a little bit derpy, but yeah, I used those like cool round flower things that you will see in a bit <laughs> all around here and in the end I end up putting also like these round rocks from City Living in here because they have a really cool... Uh, colors and patterns on them and I thought they added more like color in here and I made this whole place like really symmetrical because I don't know I'm a fan of symmetricality symmetry that's just called symmetricality I just like when things are symmetrical so I really tried to make this symmetrical I think it looks really good and just I don't know it just doesn't look weird every angle looks the same and I like that but I did use a bit different colors on these like picnic tables and then I tried to put a fountain in there somewhere but I didn't end up liking it but I did put in some plants in here these are the ones I was talking about what are they called like flower areas these I forget the word and then I use these other like I don't know this are not really flowers but like grass <laughs> boxes as well which are really cool I haven't, I haven't really used those yet from the new expansion but I do really like the item and then I'm putting these puff chairs all around because I think they're super cool and I just love them and I thought they would be a cool sitting area as well in here if you don't want to sit by the tables or eat by the tables you could just sit right there and I know like like the actual city living has these like puff chairs all around like in uptown I think next to the food stall there is some and there's some like by the bubble blowers and everything so <laughs> I just thought I would use them as well and then I was checking the lighting in there and putting in some little cute lanterns and then I even put in these wind chimes as well because I thought they would I don't know they they have such nice sound coming from them so I thought that would be cool and then I don't even know what I'm doing. I think I'm starting to figure out what to put on these four other little areas that I have. One of them have to be just bathrooms because you do need to have some bathrooms in here. And I could not find the new ones from City Living anywhere until I stopped recording and then I found them. But when I used the like show hidden object cheat, I found them in the end and I did change them for the screenshot so you can see that I used the new ones. But for this recording, I think I used the ones from somewhere else. I don't know, maybe they're from the base game. But yeah, just so we can have some toilets in here. So when you eat all the food and drink all the tea and coffee, you probably need to use the toilet. So I put them in there and then one of these areas, as you can see, I already put some kids monkey bars in there. So it's kind of going to be like a kid play area and then here we are gonna have the wedding arch like the wedding area so you can even get married in this park and I managed to find in the debug place place <laughs> hit an object sheet with that I managed to find the fireworks for the wedding as well so uh, I put the firework thing right behind this arch as well so when you get married you can set off the fireworks so it's super cool at night especially it is so pretty I did see it set it off and then you can, you can probably see it in one of the pictures and it's just so pretty and these things that I want to use here they're not really called wedding arches so I actually am unsure whether they work as wedding arches because like the one I'm using now, when you're getting married, you can click on it and it will say like, 
do the wedding ceremony or something like that but with those other arches I wasn't sure if it would not work for some reason because they don't say wedding arch so I just decided to go with the safe bet I go with this arch here and then we're using these ones the flower petals of course we had to use them because they are like meant for weddings so I put those like all around the like walkway the aisle you can walk down the aisle in flower petals or rose petals they're so cute so I'm putting some roses all around there as well in these little like pots what are those I don't know <laughs> what they are called either and then we make a cute little seating area in here as well with <laughs> these chairs from I think they're from the oh god what does it call luxury party or something like that when we use the tree with the lanterns from movie hangout and I think this area is just pretty nice pretty chill wedding but I think it's cool and we put in that uh what is that like a meat drink bar bar table as well and these heart shaped like bushes with heart shaped uh rose petals in them that are from uh, get together so I thought they went with the whole rose theme really well and obviously I don't know they just they didn't look too weird out of place there and yeah when I finished this park I wasn't really happy with it I feel like I didn't put enough enough like effort into it and I could have done so much more so I when I thought I was finished recording I closed sims and then afterwards I was thinking no I could still add some stuff so I went in and built for another like half an hour no, I recorded for another half an hour, but after that I finished up some building off, like, camera as well, because it would have taken, like, way too long, and it would have been way too boring if you watched me build all of that, but I put in lots more landscape landscaping, and then I put those, um, cool new lamps, like the flower petal lamps from City Living, all over the water areas here, and they look so pretty, I'm so happy I did that, and you can definitely see in the pictures, and I was also thinking of making the water here, the rose petal water is that what it's called i don't know but the one that has those like pink f rose petals floating all around but then i thought it was a bit too much so i didn't end up going with it i just ended up going with the with the uh lamps thingies lanterns what are they i don't know instead and i think it looks cool in the end and then this area over here is going to be the bubble blower area and you've just got three but three bubble blowers in here with four seeds on all of them and then I put in some some trees I think and these wall dividers as well and I realize now that one chair did not turn to black and I totally <laughs> meant it to be black oh that's so annoying when that happens and I completely like don't realize I don't know how I was so blind I didn't see that it wasn't black oh well <laughs> I'm sorry about that Anyways, I've used these cool new rugs from City Living and then I put in like a cool area here where you can paint a mural. I think I put a few of those around here and then some more lamps to definitely make it a bit more brighter in the night. I don't know, I thought it was this was a pretty cool chill area where you could just hang out with your friends and use all the bubble blowers and I don't know, just have fun. And yeah, then I'm doing some landscaping here but I definitely did some more in the end. I think, I don't know, I don't remember what else I put in there, not that much, I don't think. Oh yeah, here I added in the rugs because I thought they added more symmetry. Symmetry, that's the word that I was looking for. And they look really good from far away and they make it look less like plain and white. And then this area here, I spent forever looking for the toilets and like I said, oh no, these are from Get to Work, Get Together. Like I said, I didn't end up finding the new ones, so I put these ones in here, but for the screenshots and for the upload, I did change them to the city living ones, so don't worry. <laughs> I don't know, I thought they looked much cooler, and they're like more modern. I don't know, I really like them. I think they suit the city really well. And this area is just a bit boring. It's just two of these huge toilet blocks in here, and then some mural painting areas, and then I even put in a few uh, benches, I think, in the end. There I go, there I went trying the flower petal water, but I ended up not using it. And then this kids area was a bit of a mess at first, but I think it turned out okay in the end. You've just got the monkey bars, the pirate ship, like, play thingy. <laughs> and then some seating areas for the adults, a little basketball court there is very tiny. <laughs> and then, I don't know, just, oh yeah, here I go adding this, like, walkway all around the park because I thought I definitely needed this it did add a lot to it it wasn't just an empty place so this is can just you can kind of see where you're going and what areas you can access but you can definitely go all around the park and there's a lot to do here so I don't know I do think this park turned out pretty cool and I'm happy with it 
I don't even know what I'm going to change anymore. I'm just going to do lots of landscaping. My footage is lagging so much at the moment. I hope the video isn't actually lagging. Because that would not be good. But I think it's just me. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I sorted it out, I think. Oh yeah, we go and add these red flowers all around. All around. So I think they went with the colors of this park really well because i used the red lamps everywhere and i thought they looked really really nice i only put them here with the wedding arch at first but in the end i do end up putting like red flowers everywhere and i don't even know all right rip my computer <laughs> i movie we just like crashed yeah i updated my computer was it like two days ago i think so because i hadn't updated in a long time i don't really know why i kind of just like ignored all the updates and I don't know <laughs> it's not doing so great iMovie it was first being super weird it made all my clips super bright for no reason and then I updated iMovie and I don't know that didn't update while I updated my computer for some reason and now iMovie looks so different and it's being super weird and super laggy apparently so <laughs> I'm having some issues and technical difficulties so if I don't have any videos out that's why <laughs> now you know also if you are concerned or like if you want to know why where my videos are or anything else you should follow me on twitter my twitter is the name is team Rakit and yt and i definitely post updates on there and info about future videos and just anything else that comes to mind so if you have a twitter you should definitely follow me <laughs> it's just some little self promo i don't even know what i was talking about anymore because of the crash but yeah you can see me adding oh yeah i'm not adding though what am i adding i don't know i was trying a few things but i do add the flower petal lamps in here in the end and i'm adding some cute little um what are those like actual <laughs> petals of like in there as well oh my god i can't speak anymore i get so i got so confused but yeah i am having some issues <laughs> with my computer at the moment so sorry about that but i think this build is about done or i mean it still took me forever to put all those lamps on the water but i didn't record that so you guys don't have to watch the whole thing but i do add in some outdoor lights over here and then i think the last thing i do is just start adding the, the i'm just gonna call them flower petal lamps i don't know what they're called actually but that's just what i think they look like i'm sure most of you know what i mean if you have seen the city living items um you can see them right now i think because these are the ones i use and i just put them all around in a random pattern and in a few colors and i think it looks super cool at night so it was just a cool addition i wanted to do this at first but i completely forgot about it until the end so i'm glad i went back and added it in but anyway here are the screenshots in a second. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do want to get this park in your game, it will be on the gallery under my username SeamerKittenYT or under the hashtag SeamerKitten. If I forgot to put it on there, remind me in the comments because I might forget. I'm sorry. I haven't put it on there yet, but it will definitely be in there and it will be listed as a community lot. Or I think it's in under like random or general or something because it's not a park. It's like the central park. I'm not really sure how that works. But anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i would love to have you join the kitten family and i will see you guys soon for a new video also if you want to leave any comments for future videos like suggestions definitely leave those down below as well and i will reply to all of your comments thanks so much for watching i hope you're having a great day and bye, -bye.